What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com And today we're going over a quick mixing tutorial, you know, how to get rid of that noise in the background of your tracks What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Today we're going over a quick mixing tip on um, how to get the background noise out of your tracks and make them just sound way, way more professional. Um, Alright, so yeah, if you guys haven't got Savage 808s, it's a sub. Um, you need to go by and get those because they're fucking savage, bro. And um, alright, so I got this track pulled up. This is an artist that I'm working with. You guys will remember uh, a while ago. Um, I, I had a video and I was like, yo, let's do a song a week. I'll make the beats for you. You know, I'll mix this shit for free. And um, yo, all y'all rappers, um, like, dude, like, where y'all at, bro? Because the, uh, the, the dude who's been the trillist with this shit has uh, been a singer. And, um, you know, he's actually he's actually working, bro. So, um, yeah, man. Um, I was I wasn't able to find a rapper, so you know I'm I'm, I'm an R&B producer now. But um, again, if you if you rappers out there want to try to do a song a week, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, and keep up and keep up with my work ethic, and you, you know and try to really get it, and um, you know put your put your hustle where your heart is, you know hit hit me up craftmasterproductions954 at gmail.com. Let's work. But um, anyway, um, so um, dude sent me this song, and. Um, really talented producer by the way um <clears throat> i had originally he originally hit me up on twitter and, and and sent me this track i was like whoa like what'd you use to make this track and it was all stock shit and it was like i'm i i still intend to do the tutorial where i show you guys how to mix it um because it's just a really good um you know um just example of what happens when you have real talent and you and and you don't rely on you know um, plugins to make your music for you when you can actually when you can actually create and make cool stuff. But um, so this is what happens when I get a lot of vocals in, especially especially from people who don't go to the studio and record. Um, is I wind up with with a crazy noise floor and um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and play this so you guys can hear it this is so crazy to me facts are facts and the fact is you are amazing to me Some So if you pay attention to that and you look at this meter right here when I'm playing this, when I'm playing the beginning of it, you know, we're looking at a noise floor that's hitting like, you know, damn near 40 dB the whole time. And that is like, that is a crazy white noise um, hiss that's going on. And um, normally what I do on tracks like this is, you know, I go, I, I go in and use the remove silence or, you know, um, and um, I had tried that out, and it it wasn't it, it wasn't really hitting the way I liked. Let's see if I I, I went to like I went to like forty eight, and um, tried to apply it, and it was it was cutting it was cutting some stuff off. But that is that's that's one way you could go about getting rid of that stuff. Um, just find the noise floor, switch this to manual, and do that. This is so crazy to me. Facts are facts, and the fact is, you are amazing to me. Sometimes I don't know how to deal. Like, I ain't even tripping, cause the last time you came over, we spent all the time on my sofa. Oh, this shit's so crazy. Blazing to see music that I swear we never. But um, when you do it like that, sometimes you gotta go through and chop all these out, and I, I wasn't really, I wasn't really vibing with that. So um, again, that that way it does work. Um, so another uh, another direction that I went was I just went with the old fashioned gate plugin. Okay, set the you know set the noise floor to forty nine, and I found um uh, you want to hit this open um deal right here. So you find you find wherever your noise floor is back here. Or if I turn it off. You know, we're hitting up around 41, 42. 
I got this set to 49 and I like the way that that sounded. You go ahead and turn it on. Now that shit is gone. This is so crazy to me. Facts are facts, and the fact is, you are amazing to me. Sometimes I don't know how to deal. Like, I ain't even tripping, cause the last time you came over, we spent all the time on my sofa. Uh, this shit's so crazy. Ladies just see music that I swear we never heard of. Uh, but you say the stone. So just for me, I found that a, l a lot less choppy and I was able to get these, um, you know, these little these little breaths and um, and just, uh, you know, flavor pieces that that uh, Aubrey was going ahead and putting this into his into his performance. And that's and that's what really gave it the, the flavor and the swag to it. And on top of that, I was able to get rid of, you know, the the just nasty noise floor because it is crazy, you know, especially if especially if you're mixing on your own and you spend the money, you invest, you buy the track out, you're tweaking stuff and then you just got the tss in between all the words. You don't want that. So a gate or um or the uh, or the remove silence tool is going to be your best friend and the and again the most important thing is cuz a lot of people just they overlook this cuz they don't know how to use it it's intimidating you want to go to an open section find the noise thresh or find the uh, um find the uh, noise floor you know what i'm saying put your mouse over where you're seeing the highest peak you're going to see the cursor if you look at the left hand of the screen you're going to see the cursor give you a value use that value to set your open threshold and you will get rid of that sound completely so this is concrete zebra with craftmaster productions if you guys are looking for mixing services hit me up craftmaster954 at gmail.com keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next